Hi Taurus, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing a general reading for March 2024. Let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign in Taurus plus Ross Watchers. As this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells and premium crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Let's see, Taurus, what are the messages to you? Uh, three of Swords. <clears throat> three of Swords. Then we have the Six of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Three of Wands. You have recently been hurt by someone. I feel like now is the time for you to rise and shine. You've started, you know, working on your dreams, on your goals, or your passion. It means a lot to you right now. What I'm seeing over here is that uh, you have been closed off earlier. You have been insecure of, you know, trying out new opportunities for yourself, new ideas. Because of your past, your confidence was affected. But now, once you've released this toxic person or relationship in your life, you have started to follow your life purpose and realizing your own worth. So I feel like there, there is an Aries around you. Okay, maybe this is the person that still keeps a watch on you. And you're not talking to this person. They know you walked away. Okay, you walked away from someone that could be an Aries. Because you were not getting enough love. You were not happy with this person. So to uh, for your self-respect, okay, you decided to walk away from this person, which was a good decision. So they've been still watching you. I feel they are also hurting. They could be a Libra. The thing is, this person is not over you. I feel they are the one that is hurting more. And they want to make an offer towards you once again. I feel you are running in this person's mind on and again, on and again. Cannot stop obsessing over you. They want to make a U-turn towards you because now that you have started living your life, enjoying your life and, you know, making money and achieving big or at least this person thinks that you're enjoying your life and you have it all right now and there's a spark in you and there's, there's something about you that literally is uh screaming confidence okay this person is not able to get off their eyes on you so there's someone that is not able to get off their eyes on you off of you and that is why they're not able to let go of you they are you're very close to this person's heart don't don't buy what they're doing like don't buy what they're saying because i'm definitely seeing that even if they don't say it you're very very close to this person's heart you mean a lot to this person four of pentacles they want a new beginning for sure they're heavily attracted towards you. Two of swords. <clears throat> they think that you've forgotten them, you moved on, and you're living your life on your own terms. Okay, this person could be someone from two months back or two years back as well. It could be someone completely new that you guys had a misunderstanding with, and then you walked away and they walked away, but now they are missing you, they want you. So let me see what happened. They could be a year. Yeah, they were trying to control you and you figured out, you saw this as a red flag and you walked away as soon as you saw it, okay? You didn't want to be controlled by someone. You felt like your happiness was not appreciated or they were not doing anything to make you happy. It was all about me, myself and I and you were like a trophy for this person but they were not doing anything to make you happy. So this is why they can realize what they did was not right. Also, I feel like this person is someone that is a little egoistic and has achieved a lot in life so they have this thing going on where nobody can leave me everybody's under me you know that that's the kind of energy so you don't like that energy so you're looking for someone that meets you on the same page that loves you and respects you and is on the same page so you're looking for someone new and you are very clear that you don't want to be with this person so you went this chapter you moved on you walked away from this uh obsessed person but now they are not okay they're not taking this uh, nicely they're very stressed out and they're not happy the fact that you don't care about them anymore they literally feel bad about their fee uh, their, their behavior towards you they feel like they have made a big mistake they have to have you again five of uh, swords it's like they want to have you once again okay the 
earlier they were confused about their dealings with you but now this person wants to literally change themselves There's someone that really really wants to change themselves to be you know to fit in your life they want to make changes in themselves to fit in your life this is what i've seen okay three of cups and the seven of wands <clears throat> you guys may have mutual friends we have one more card which is wow they'll be talking about you and asking about you to uh, your mutual friends if you have any mutual friend or else they have been searching on your social media trying to figure out about you and your circle okay they could be a pisces gemini the lovers this person is very scared that you might find someone else so they are not okay with this thing i feel like this person is just anxious worried that you might find someone else and you're so attractive then they are also having this doubt that you're talking to other people so this is making them go crazy they could be a gemini okay but trust me you don't care about this person anymore you and your friends your circle of friends and family members are enough for you right now and you're also looking for more options you might be talking to some new options right now there is time for you to meet the one but i'm definitely seeing that you're looking for true love real love passionate love okay so maybe there's a cancer coming in or gemini coming in but what i'm seeing is you're extremely difficult to convince unlike before by this person and now they are wondering like how do i reach out to this um it could be a gemini Taurus, I'm seeing you have a lot of options, but right now what you're doing is working. Goals, 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 goals. This is what your major focus is. Money, money, money. You're going to build a solid foundation at work. Everything is working according to your need. The only thing is this person is obsessed. They're very, very sad. Very sad. They're not happy. They, they think that they're falling in love. They're becoming weak in their knees for you. I feel like earlier they were bossy, but now that you've left, this person is becoming weak. They can do anything to make you happy. This could be an Aries. This could be a Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Aries energy, Capricorn energy is very strong. Okay, Gemini. Page of Swords. They have been like stalking you and spying on you like anything. And they're feeling left out, alone, sad, depressed. They are trying to figure out what they did was uh can, how how they can change themselves now they're they're learning about their mistakes and they don't want to make those same mistakes again so they could be a virgo i'm not seeing this could be someone that you've had a relationship with most probably it is someone that you had a short-term situation and the things didn't work out but now they're fixated on you and you're fixated on your goals and you love now it's it's it depends like how you're going to cho choose this okay luck is on your side whatever you choose will be good for you but you're being bold person i feel you're very confident these days and what you want you'll achieve it so you're becoming more bolder i'm also seeing emotions are running high which means this person is also possibly crying for your attention this person is extremely um interested in you emotional for you someone is becoming emotional and they have you they've, they've started setting a target that you're the one that they have to win so sudden wealth i'm definitely seeing keep focusing on your goals you're going to make good money immense money is coming in yeah they could be someone that is wealthy this person is wealthy they want to show you money and they want to attract you through money this person thinks that you can get attracted but no you won't money doesn't charm you so you're not getting attracted by it but however this person will uh do anything for you whatever makes you happy so they're definitely very much investing like wanting to invest in you okay confidence your confidence is a key your strength is the key why this person is not feeling very strong in front of you and they're broken hearted you can't use this okay they're broken hearted and i feel like this person started realizing that you both are on the same page you understand them more than anybody else in the world you are their strength you are their power you are their uh, confidence this is what they're sensing right now about you they want a chance in love this is someone that wants a relationship this could be someone from your past life there's a possibility this is a past life connection pay attention to the red flags yeah there will be a lot of like um 
<clears throat> I feel yes, they are someone that is not like uh, a wish come true, like a hundred percent uh mistake free person you will see this person making a lot of mistakes so you may have to be really slow in dealing with this person but i'm definitely seeing they want you to be more expressive they're going to be more expressive and this could be the one that depends upon what you want but they want you okay there's a lot of attraction between the two of you they cannot resist they see you as a perfect fit for them they see you are the only one that can change them okay sensitivity this person has sensitive emotions towards you like i feel like they're getting more and more sensitive towards you with passing time they cannot resist you this uh emotions their emotions are taking over okay friendship they want to build a strong friendship first to win your heart so that you can trust them they like the fact that you're honest and that you don't keep manipulating things this is something that they really really like And then we're having perfect timing. Wait for this person to reach out to you. They're about to message you, tell you their true feelings. I feel like they're understanding. If you, you're giving them that space, that space is allowing them to understand what exactly they want in this, what exactly is, you know, their need in this connection. Yes, they're feeling bad and now they want to take the blame to themselves yes they want to share their life with you their happiness with you this is someone that has made up their mind that they want to rekindle the love here okay you're going to be very happy when this person does random things you know uh, buys you surprises gifts and they just want to see you smiling they just want to make you feel special they want to do things that can make you feel like yes you belong to them they want to do things to make you feel special forgive it's time for you to forgive okay this person i feel they deserve the forgiveness if they have made any mistake if they have done anything which is not too big to be forgiven i feel like uh, then this reading is for you you can forgive them so you might forgive this person in the end of the day i'm seeing you can trust them because they are doing anything and everything to transform themselves to win your trust and to have you back The next move, please. Yes, they're about to ask you out. They want to tell you that you are special to them. They will be expressing their emotions. They'll be expressing their love without a doubt here. They're also going to straight away ask for marriage. This person has already decided. Now it's up to you what you decide. They trust you and that's it. Now the universe is asking you to trust the process. This person could be possibly be the one. Life is speeding up. Things have started to happen way too fast. Everything is happening fast. Okay. Things are changing fast. And I'm definitely seeing that it's time for you to not waste your time on the negative thoughts, the negative experiences. It's time for you to just go with the flow and enjoy the journey because it's beautiful whatever you're going to experience. Taurus, please. It's time for you to take action because they are already taking action towards you. Okay. Let's see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think of you for you? I feel like it is you who has to reach out to them because they've been still waiting on you. And you are the one that needs to make a decision. Aries is madly in love. They have fallen in love. They have become super sensitive and emotional towards you. They don't want to let go of you. The Taurus feels a strong soulmate bond with you. Cannot stop loving you and caring for you. Gemini. Very, very attracted towards you. They cannot stop, you know, feeling excited, thinking about you. Cancer. Feels left out, alone, crazy, thinking about you like crazy. Leo. Caesar is a marriage material. Wants to end up with you. Vago. Cannot stop dancing, smiling, laughing around because they found the one. Libra. They want to take a leap of faith, unbothered about what you're going to say. They just want to have you. Scorpio. Scorpio feels dead. They feel like a failure. They feel like they made a big mistake and now they're cursing themselves like anything. They're still waiting on you. 
Capricorn. Capricorn is about to make an offer, a very special one. Like they're going to write a long message or they're going to just say those things that you get easily convinced. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh. I feel like the Sagittarius is uh, making efforts towards you very much. The Sagittarius is like kind of like going crazy, making efforts. But they are this in this energy, like they'll do everything so that you don't reject them at all. Aquarius, please. Oh, they miss you. They have your picture and they've been crying looking at your picture like crazy. Pisces. This person is trying to manifest you. The Pisces is trying to manifest you. You're very different and you're extremely attractive. And the Pisces person is thinking about you, how they can manifest you, what they can do to you know, change this connection and make it more promising in the future. So this person is doing some planning. Okay. So, uh, okay. Putting the dog's energy into this. Okay, some of you are dealing with Capricorn. I'm sensing that you realize that you don't want to deal with anything from the past. Okay, I don't know whether this is the person also, but I feel like you're you're not wanting to deal with anything. No, from the past. Okay, an ending is something that is final for you. Some of you, there's an Aquarius around. Someone that you should not trust completely. I feel there are a lot of red flags. You may need to figure out more before falling in love with someone. Uh, you're going to receive a gift, an expensive gift. It's going to make you feel special. They're going to be like, someone's going to write you a long poetry like of compliments. Like they're going to compliment you. This person is someone that is like way too different from you, but still likes you a lot. You both are very different from each other. Falls apart. This is more like, um, I feel like this is a faded connection. You guys are meant to be together. Archangel Raphael. Pray to Archangel Raphael for this, uh, for your love life to grow, to blossom. Okay? Because Archangel Raphael is responsible for one. So you can pray to him. Or oh, that's a confirmation. Someone that is targeting on you when it comes to making you theirs. Like there's someone that is coming off with a marriage proposal right off the bat. But you still will have red flags. They might not be the kind of red flags that would make you want to reject them. But then you should know everything about this person. So I feel like this person is very like action oriented. Once they have this thing on their mind that they want to have it, they will go and get it. So they're a go-getter. R and U, this also talks about reunion, reunite, reconciliation. Someone's name has R and U in it, or you have R and U in it. Okay. Oh. It could be A as well. It could be S as well. Ross, Saru, Sarika. Someone's from South, something like South. South Sudan, South Africa, South America, Sri Lanka, China, USA. Oh, literally, it's it's saying USA. You can see this. USA. That, yeah, this is, I feel like there will be some intimacy happening between the two of you. And you're going to experience the magical moment of your life. I feel this person has the key to your heart. They really love and respect you. But this person is someone that is very well recognized. And there's a sensation in themselves, in their career. They're very, very advanced in their career. So they could be from Russia. You could be from Russia, USA, India, Afghanistan. Um, these are the some of the countries that I'm seeing over here. Uganda. Uganda is definitely there. Algeria is there. Someone's name is Samuel. Sarah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. 
Ashley A S U R. Mm -hmm. Someone is a uh, is a singer, like likes to sing a lot. Like this person is someone that wants to talk to you. I feel they're fond of the, your lips. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read, Taurus. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Bounce you back again with more stuff. Bye.